Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this simple little Easter card in Scan and Cut Canvas. I just found this Easter word on the internet and I'll put the link in the video, in the description box under the video. And it's an SVG cutting file and I decided that I'd use it to draw with the universal pen tool. So I literally just cut some simple shapes in Scan and Cut Canvas, created the oval with the word, created a banner, then I drew the word with a pen, did some stamping and stamped the word happy. So it's a simple, quick little card. And if you want to know how I made it, keep watching. Hi, so if you come to this file, SVG, and the website address is lovesvg.com, I will leave it on the screen. Come to the free SVG cutting file section and you can do a search and I'm going to type Easter and then hit enter on my keyboard and this will bring up all the free files that are available from this website. Okay so just scroll through until you find the design you want or if you want to use the same one as me until you find the one that you want and it's this one here Easter 2018 but I removed the 2018 so you select it and it tells you that it's available in different formats. And what you need to do, just come down here and under the description and just keep going and then you'll find this pink strap that says download zip. So you select that and I'm on a Mac and it just drops straight into my downloads folder. If you're on Windows, it will probably do the same. If not, you just download the file how you would download any other file from the internet. So now I'm going to close that box down and in my downloads folder is this blue folder here. Now I'm going to double click just to open it and then inside it you'll see this is what you get and it's the SVG that I used. So I'm leaving this folder on my desktop for now and then I'm just going to go back into Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'm going to go to a new blank page, open a new blank working mat, come up to the SVG icon, where it says choose I'm going to select that, I'm going to navigate to my desktop because that's where I've left the folder, here's the folder and then I'm going to choose the SVG and say choose and then OK. And that brings the SVG cutting file onto my mat. But I don't want to cut it, I want to draw it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select each one of these letters and hit the delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And then if I select the word you'll see I've got a bounding box around the A-S-T-E-R but the E is separate. So I'm just going to drag, left mouse click and drag to select both and then I'm going to right click and group and I'm going to make them smaller to fit on my card. So I'm just going to put that to one side for now. Now I was using A4 card cut in half and then folded in half so I came over to the basic shapes and I chose a rectangle and I unticked maintain aspect ratio and I made this rectangle 3.75 by 5. Then with that selected and I just hit the D on my keyboard and that gave me a duplicate. I found sometimes if you have the properties box still open and you select something and you go to hit D, it doesn't always give you the duplicate that you want. So this one now, I made two inches high by five inches. And these are my two matting layers that I'm going to put on the front of my A6 card, or I think yours is, would be an A2 equivalent if you're in the US. Then the next thing I'm going to do is find an oval. I'm going to hold the shift key down and rotate it twice so it keeps it perfectly vertical. I'm going to get my Easter word 
and I'm going to drag in from the top corner and make it smaller. I'll just send that to the back. Make it smaller to fit within my circle. But the first thing I'm going to do is size my oval. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is selected and make it 2.90 high. And that makes it 2.17 wide, which is the size I used. Now I'm going to bring the letters over again and grab the top right hand corner and shrink it down. Just send that to the back. Shrink it down until it fits. I wanted it to fit near the top of the oval because I was, I've got an idea that I'm going to do some stamping down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the word come to the properties box, I'm going to make it a draw line and I'm going to choose fill and that way when I send it over to the machine I don't have to go in and remember to turn the fill option on. I'm going to select the oval and just make that a cut. So the oval is a cut line, the word is a draw with a fill. Now I'm just going to position that back over the top, select both go to edit and center so they centered and leave the word near the top. Select them both and right click and group. And that's my oval. Now the last piece I need is a banner. So I came and chose this banner here. Again, hold the shift key down, rotate it twice. It just keeps it perfectly horizontal or vertical. I'm going to shrink it down a little And then I'm going to click and double click to expose the nodes and I'm just going to drag this out because I don't want it as pointy and then left click and let go. Now I think I made it about 0.69 high and it's over two inches wide. I don't need it that wide. My stamp that I'm planning to use it, my word happy, is only an inch wide. But I can always cut it down because this is going to be pattern paper layered up on top of a piece of blue. This is going to be white and it's going to sit here. If it's too big, so long as I stamp my word at this end, I can always trim this off. So they're the basic elements. And I'll just go back to the properties box and make sure these are all set just to a cut line. And then it doesn't confuse the machine when I come to say that I want to draw this one. So these three shapes here are all set as a cut. The oval is set as a cut and the words are set as a draw. I would give it a name here, save it and then download it. I'm going to go to the machine and show you how I now assembled the card. Okay, so I'm going to go into patterns. I'm going to come over to the Wi-Fi transfer because that's how I sent my file over. There's my design. I'm going to say save and I'm just going to put it in the machine for now. So now I just want to put some pieces of card and paper on my mat to cut these sections. I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but the rectangle that was two inches high, I'm just going to go into the top left editing icon and put it in the rubbish bin for now. The rectangle that is going to be my matting layer for my card, I'm going to go into the editing icons and say two and OK because I want two of those and I'm hoping to get those out of this blue piece of card here. The white piece of card, I'm going to cut two of the banners and two of the ovals with the word Easter. So I'm going to choose the oval with the word Easter and say two. And I'm going to choose the banner and go into the editing icons and say two. Now I may have to rotate these to get these on my white piece of card. So I'm just going to go back into the editing icons which is the third box on the right or the box directly above the blue and white OK. And I'm going to go into the rotating icons and rotate it 90 degrees. Select the other one, just move it out of the way of those banners and rotate that one and say OK and OK. So now I've got the two 
oval shapes with the words and I've got my two banners. I'm going to load the mat up and do a background scan. I'm just going to make sure that all my pieces fit on the two pieces of card. I'm going to zoom in because I want to move these up slightly. So I'm just going to go into the four directional arrows and just move this up ever so slightly. And I'm going to say OK, OK and OK again. Now the words Easter that I assigned as a draw line are highlighted in blue here. So I'm going to select draw and then the only thing it shows me on the map are the two words that say Easter. I'm going to get my universal pen holder, drop it into the cradle, drop the pen in and then lock it into position. Take the blade out. Put the pen in, say OK. OK, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this because the sun's come out now. It's been awful, it's been snowing for days. And now the sun's come out and I can't see a thing. So I'm taking the pen holder out and I'm putting the blade back in. And now I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say cut and the only things that should cut now are the two matting layers, the oval around this word I've just drawn and the two banners. finished so I am going to unload this mat turn the glare down in the hope that you can see so that's the waste these are my two matting layers I'm going to leave the ovals as they are at the moment because I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping around here and I can over stamp using this card. So I'm just going to ink up and see how this looks and then I'm just going to Stamp a few little flowers and I'm just going over the edge. So I'm going to do the same on this one. Don't want to get them on the banners, so I'm just going to move this around. So now I'm going to peel this away got my little Easter word with some flowers on and I've got my two little banners that I'm going to stamp the word happy on. Got ink on my fingers already, so I've now got ink all over there. Great. So I might have 
have to cut another one. We'll just do this for now. There's my little banner. So I'll just put the pieces out of the way and get rid of the ink. So I'm just going to load this piece of pattern paper onto the card now and I'm going to cut my other two rectangles and then I'll be back. Okay, so just to save a bit of time, I've scored this card every eighth of an inch on my scoreboard just to give this a little bit more texture. So now I'm going to stick this down onto the base card and I'm just using a wet glue. You can use anything you want. I've already got my card pre-folded and scored and this is an A4 piece of card, UK A4. I've got my little piece of pattern paper Stick that directly on the top of that. Like so. I stamped another happy for the one that I got ink all on and I'm thinking I'm going to put that there. And this one's going to go here, I think. So I think I'll pop these two up on foam pads. So that one I'm going to put there. That I'm going to put there. I've got a white gel pen if I've got any ink in them. I'm going to put some little dots in the middle of these flowers, little white dots. just add some little groups of dots just to fill in a few of the spaces. That's how we're looking so far. I'm going to make two of these, but I'm only just making one. And I may just add a little jewel, a little purple one I think I like there. Okay, what do you think? So. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. You can also now follow me on Instagram and Patreon and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.